All right, this is a video review of Rabbit TV. I uh, just picked this up at Walmart, and I uh, wanted to do a review for you guys just to let you know what's up. All right, I got it out. Here we go. This is the Rabbit TV USB device. Looks pretty nice. There's my computer, Windows 7. I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in, see what happens. is ready to use. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click Run Rabbit TV. All right, get this Start button. All right, and launch my browser. Uh, it looks like I got to register, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and turn you guys off for a second. All right, I finished registration. So I made it to this login page. Registration took about one or two minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and enter my info. One second and log in. Alright. Alright. Uh, here's the home page it looks like. You got newest TV episodes classic shows, free movies, pay-per-view movies, TV networks, live events, live channels, radio stations. All right, I'll start out with just a TV show. Um, let's try out Smash. All right, a little bit of info. Got the show. All right. Let's go ahead and click watch now, see what happens. Smash. All Smash videos. Nice. Pretty cool. Looks like it's a full episode, 43 minutes. Let's see if I can make this full screen. Yep, looks like it's pretty cool. Right, so you can actually watch full episodes. That's cool. Let's go ahead and use this top bar. Let's go to TV Classics. Alright, now showing. Huh. Alright, let's check out these classic shows. Let's go for the 70s. What do we want? I'm gonna watch some Brady Bunch. Let's go to watch now. Right. Yeah. Watching some Brady Bunch. Nice. Looks like it's a full episode too. Let's go ahead and go to... Let's try out some movies. Let's go to the movies section. Alright, looks pretty similar. Now showing. That's cool. Alright. Um, let's try some comedy movies. Anything good? Let's try out Bottle Rocket. Looks like there's a lot of movies here. Did I click that? Yeah, it's loading. Sorry, my internet connection is a little slow. I guess it's an R-rated movie. So I gotta enter in my birthday. Just so you guys know, this isn't my real birthday. I verify. Alright, cool. 
Oh, looks like the movie's loading up. Can I skip ahead? Oh, cool. Nice, so it looks like the full movie. And it is totally free. Awesome. Let's go back to this top nav bar. Let's try... Let's go to live. Alright, Rabbit TV. Wednesday. Looks like this started at 12. Hopefully it's still on. Red Bull Free Ride World Tour. Alright, looks like it's still live. Nice. Yeah, that does look live to me. That's pretty cool. So they got some live events there. Let's check out these live channels. Alright, some live channels. Bloomberg. Yep, yeah, looks like it's live breaking news. Cool. They got a bunch of these, looks like. Not exactly all the same channels you get on cable, but looks like there's a lot of content. Alright, let's go, let's try some, let's go to some radio stations. Okay, so they got the main, the main radio sites on there. It's pretty cool, they just, so it's easy to access. A bunch of different radio stations down here. Let's try out AOL Radio. Never tried that before. Let's listen now. Right to playing, it looks like. Cool. Nice. Alright. Looks pretty good. Alright, overall, I'd say it's pretty nice. A lot of, looks like a lot of content overall. Um, I think that wraps it up for my initial review. I'm going to add on to this about a week from now with my uh, my impressions of Rabbit TV after a week. All right, it's been about a week since I first started using this Rabbit TV. I got to say so far it's pretty nice. Definitely uh, worth the 10 bucks I paid, I'd say. A uh, whole lot of content, lots of TV shows, lots of free movies. Um, I use I spend a lot of time just searching for random TV shows up in the search box. I got a lot of old stuff, a lot of new stuff. Uh, pretty much everything I've searched for I've been able to find. Um, I definitely recommend this to anybody who's kind of new to the whole internet TV thing and don't really know how to find this kind of stuff. Even for people like me who know how to find a lot of the same stuff, it's nice to have it just available at, the cli at a click of a button. Um, I have been seeing some reviews online that, say that are saying it's a scam. Uh, not sure exactly where they're getting their information, but... Um, so far for me, it's been pretty good. Uh, I will say a lot of the stuff uh, that they link to is available online without Rabbit TV, but it's nice to just have it uh, readily available. They just organize it all for you, and it's constantly updated, so that's nice too. Um, not the same as, as cable TV, so if you're expecting live TV with all your regular channels from cable and stuff, it's not, it's not the same thing, so you might be disappointed with that. But for what it is, it's really nice. It's uh, Most of the content is on demand. They do have some live channels, but pretty much all the shows, the TV shows, are on demand. Um, uh, final word, just overall, I'd say if you're thinking about uh, trying it out, I'd say it's definitely worth a shot. It's only $10, and it's definitely worth $10 a year. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a, a $10 uh, after the first year is free, and then after that it's another $10 for the second year. 
So I'd have to say good product, um, and you should definitely try it out. That's my review of Rabbit TV.